Hi everyone, today bringing back this motherboard which is coming from ASU known as the ProArt X870E Creator Wi-Fi thanks to ASU to have provided this board for me to share with everyone now for today's topic, I will be talking about the bandwidth of what this motherboard can cater and if you guys want to know more details about this board I did a content on this, you can click on my top right hand corner and it will take you to that content. Now as mentioned, for today I'll be talking about the bandwidth where you can see I've connected all the connection on the RJ45 socket. This is the 10 gig, this is the 5 gig, sorry, this is the 10 gig, this is the 2.5 gig and this is the Wi-Fi. And as read and having emails from viewers stating that this connection here right, are very inconsistent which I will illustrate to you I've been using this board for more than three weeks or so on my test bench and been using this as a daily drive and I can show you the speed and along with this right I'll be making use of my router instead of a switch the router I'll be using which is a ASU ROG Reptro GT98 it's a 10 gig and Wi-Fi 7 router When you have built up everything in a case with this ASU ProArt XA70E Creator Wi-Fi motherboard, you will need to install your OS. And do take note that only Windows 11 is catered for Wi-Fi 7. If you install Windows 10, right, there won't be a driver for Wi-Fi 7. So take note on this. So when you have installed that, and when you first time boot up in Windows 11, you get a prompt on your lower right to install this application known as the ASU driver hub now let me explain what this does and sometime when you build a system and when you check check on the uh, device manager some of these are on exclamation mark and you will need to go to the you know web page itself to search for the driver just to clear off all the exclamation mark else in modern motherboard that ASU have came out right it include this application which is automatically prompt for you to install reason being in UEFI right they have add one function this is the uh, advanced mode when you click on tools you will see this ASU driver hub see it's enabled so for the very first time when you boot up in Windows 11 right it will ask you to install I would strongly suggest you to install this before you do anything and what this does when I click on this icon here, it will take me to this page, which is the driver hub of this motherboard. And you'll start scanning your system, what kind of motherboard you're using, processor and such, where you can see over here about this PC. See? The BIOS version, the uh, motherboard, the operating system and such. And over here, right, the available updates are all your drivers and the application that you want to install. I've not installed all the application. Instead, I have installed all the drivers, which consists of the chipset driver. This is very important. Then the integrated graphic on my processor, the Intel LAN driver, which is meant for the 2.5 gig NIC, the Mario LAN driver, which is the 10 gig NIC, and also the Bluetooth and the MediaTek Wi-Fi driver. Now this is for Wi-Fi 7 and the rest so once you have installed all these drivers right you should not be seeing any exclamation mark on your device manager and just to double check click on the network adapter now I know I've disabled this too reason being right I just want to show you the speed of what this smartboard can do as in like the internet speed so make sure you have this which is the i226v this is meant for your 2.5 gig NIC followed by the 10 gig NIC and your Wi-Fi. Now to start off right, go to the search bar and look for network. Okay, when you click on network right, click on this which says view network connection control panel. It will take you to this. As mentioned to you, the uh, 10 gig NIC and the 2.5 gig NIC, I disable them. Only allowing the Wi-Fi. Just take a look at the speed of the Wi-Fi.
Okay, and some of you have actually complained regarding about this MediaTek Wi-Fi 7. I've been using this for a couple of weeks. I don't find any intermittence or such. I guess probably it's your 10 gig switch that is giving the problem. So probably you might want to check on that. But right now I'm actually using the BE98 ASU router. It does support 10 gig and Wi-Fi 7. So this is what I'm getting. Okay, let me just show you guys again. So this is based on the Wi-Fi 7, which is running on 6 GHz. See, no problem, not an issue. There is no intermittence or such. Probably you, you guys might be thinking, oh, it's up and down, up and down. Well, for me, right, it's pretty consistent. I'm getting this speed. So this is how it is on the uh, Wi-Fi 7. Now, I'm going to disable this and I'm going to enable the uh, i226V. Okay, this will take some time. This is catered for the uh, 2.5 gig. Right, done. So I load this again. Now, this is on the 2.5 gig. Consistently, I'll be getting 2.3 and such consistently. This is wired. Okay, this is most of the standard motherboard right now is using, which is the 2.5 gig NIC or the 5 gig NIC. So you have a router that able to go up to 10 gig, right? Not a problem. You'll be having this kind of speeds. And again, I don't find any intermittence or such, which I seen a lot in Reddit talking about it, saying that, you know, the, uh, I mean, the RJ45 socket and the uh, media tank of this motherboard is not really that good. But to me, not an issue. See, I'm getting this piece. And now coming to the 10 gig nick. Okay, let me just disable this. I will enable this. Now, do note that though this is a 10 gig nick, if your internet has the bandwidth of 10 gig, it doesn't mean that you will pull 10 gig, right? You will pull somewhere around 7,900 or 8,000. Let me just show you. See, it's around there. 7,800, 7,900 or such, or to the max of 8,000. So do not assume that your ISP or internet service provider right, is providing you 10 gig, you can get full 10 gig, not at all. Now, another thing which I like to use, in fact, is known as the DNS server. This will improve your fetching speed. Okay, what does DNS means? Basically, in fact, it's a server out there. It's just like a library. So when you go to the library, right, you can fetch all the information faster as compared to, you know, looking for a library for data. So this is what I'll be using. There are two types of DNS. The first type will be this, which is the, okay, if you do type this address 1.1.1.1, right, it will take you to this page. Just click on the DNS, whereby you scroll down, it will show you the configuration of how you do or set on your network card. The other is Google. Okay, you have the uh, DNS address too. I will first show you the uh, cloud flare that I often use. So how do you do all this configuration? Just go to the network adapter, do it on all your network adapter. I'll start off with the 10 gig. So you can just click on properties. Now under here, right, under the IPv6, okay, now, I know that there are two methods, which is the IPv4 and the IPv6. I'm using the IPv6 based on the fact that this is a newer technology. Okay, so I copy this under this over here. Okay, double click, then you click on this and to paste the uh, IPv6. Again, copying this, I'll do this. This will allow you, hmm, 
CO. This will allow you to fetch data faster off from the internet. Okay, do this the same to the rest or whatever. I will say that whatever this apply to whatever motherboard that you use that have a RJ45 LAN connection point, you can do this. All right. Okay, this is in fact 111. This is in fact, yep. So do it to all this. And you might find that surfing the uh, internet, right, is so much faster. As I mentioned to you, right, instead of searching for searching for a library, it goes directly to the library. This is what I'm trying to tell you. So having you do, do this, right, when you fetch anything on the internet, okay, take for example, you go YouTube. See, it'll be so much faster. See, it will just pop instantly. So this is what it meant. Or if you do not want to choose to use the uh, cloud flare, right, which is this. Okay, this is cloud flare, which is 1.1.1, .1, which I like to use very much. You can use Google DNS too, if you feel it's safer. Okay, and Google DNS, right, it only shows you the IPv4. Click here, where it shows you the IPv6 address. And when you scroll down, right, it will give you the, see, IPv6 address. Now, besides this, right, to enhance even further, right, okay, for 10 gig need right now, I will configure this. See, under property, right, when you click on configure, there is a section under advanced. If you do scroll down, right, there is this thing called speed and duplex where it's auto negotiation. You can fix this if you want to. There is 10 gig. Then when I do this, right, you will stay focused. Whoops. Oh, identifying. So sorry about this. It takes time to identify. So once it's done, right, okay, you can try to test the speed again. See? So it's telling the device that, hey, look, I am not going to auto-negotiate. Instead, I will just go straight, making use of 10 gig. See, as, as you can see, right, it went faster. Okay, I go again. So this is how it like it's like to set to fetch data faster and also to pointing to the uh, bandwidth that you want to make use of. Okay. And for the last section over here, right? Or should I say not last section? Do it same to your two point five gig link. Okay, property again. Go to configure. Oh no, sorry, it should be this. This is the okay. I'll enable this first. I'll enable all. Now this I two two six V right. This is your two point five gig. Okay. You can configure and to set under advanced the uh, speed and duplex to the two point five click on OK. And as for your Wi-Fi, right? Okay, now, ASU have this technology whereby they may use of the, I can't, can't remember the technology. I mean, it's like, you know, they combine the whole uh, network signal, right? To let you have the best bandwidth. But if you're not using ASU tech, you're using some other um, 10 gig router, right? You probably might want to set over here under Wi-Fi, under properties, advanced, Sorry, uh, configure, advance, look for the uh, preferred band. You can select, see, normally Wi-Fi 7 will be on 6 gig. But for me over here, right, since I'm using the ASU router, I don't have to use 
this at all. I will say no preference because it will pick up whatever the uh, ASU router is providing with the best signal to your Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so this re resolved the issue whereby a lot in Reddit have mentioned to me regarding about the um, Wi-Fi connection not stable, having intermittents and such. It's proven I've been using this for more than three weeks, almost nearing a month, that I have no Wi-Fi connection issues and such, be it whether I'm using Wi-Fi or using, you know, the uh, RJ45 connection, be it the 10 gig or the 2.5. Now, last but not least, do take note, this is based on internet connection. If you are using Nash, right? Now, for the configuration, I'll just show you one. Okay. Do not make use of IPv6. Okay, you will need to obtain the uh, server address automatically. If you are using Nash, not internet, right? So make sure you do this. But for the other configuration on the adapter itself right okay under advanced you can leave the uh, speed and duplex to 10 gig okay if this is a 10 gig uh, ethernet card same goes to the rest so it's only on the ipv6 that you i mean the dns servers right that you need to clear off you if you are using a nash and you might want to configure based on your nash ip address you can do that Mystery solved. Is this ASU ProArt X870E Creator Wi-Fi bandwidth stable? Be it the 10 gig, the 2.5 gig, and the Wi-Fi 7? Yes, it does. As I've been using this board, or should I say daily, for more than 3 weeks or so, it doesn't show any intermittents or such. And based on the fact that I'm using a router, not a switch, so probably you might want to check your switch for the connection and such. With this say, I'd like to thank ASU Singapore to have provided this bot for me to share with you guys. And for those of you who are actually new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you like my content, do remember to subscribe and to click on the notification bell button. Till then, take care, goodbye, see ya.